Hey, what's up people? It's Ludwig here and welcome back to the channel. We're playing Broken Worlds. They thought ending the world would end the war. That much was passed down. Everything else has been lost. When the bombs dropped, 80% of Australia's population was wiped out just like that. Those who weren't immediately vaporised carried the radiation inland, poisoning all the pretty places they crawled to. The desert swallowed the rest. Despite it all, we survived. We rebuilt. We even formed strong enough allegiances to have wars of our own. But these wars were of disease, of hunger, of people who'd forgotten the sacrifices that have always been made beyond the steady glows of the cities that now choked with dust. Our great grandparents made it. We will too. All it takes to thrive in this new world is guts, grit and hard yakka. That's where you come in. Let me see. So, we can choose what person we want to play. <clears throat> Shooting mastery. Whoa. Let, let's go with this guy. Uh, continue. Ah, oh, yeah, I get it, I get it. Let's close this. Question. You've been out in the waste for weeks, mapping out a possibly new route to Kokubia. Way station and your supplies are running low. You come across a half overgrown track and find a badly injured merchant. She says she was attacked by a pack of wild dogs and begs you for some water. It's clear she's close to death, however, and no amount of water will save her. <clears throat> wow, if she asks for water, but the water won't save her, why should we do it then? <sighs> After a series of raids on caravans passing near your home and put together a scouting party, you've got a bandit leader and one of his raiders, the leader plots for release, pledging to comply with your terms, do you free him? Ooh, it's a bandit leader and one of his raiders. Take him back to the town to stand trial. If you catch them here again, they're dead. Tell him that you, you will let one of them go free, him or his raider, and he gets to choose which one. We can give them a trial, but we can also execute them. I mean, it's a bandit though, so we have to uh, play smart. I just think one of those two. Mm. You know what? Let's execute him. A nearby town side has a new chief and he's starting to flex his muscles. He sends an avoid with a twat, pay tribute or suffer to his word. You clearly has the mentality strength to bag it up. Do you pay? If he thinks he can take it, let him come. You're not scared of his threats. Negotiate with the envoy and escort him back. Conceal your top fighter's follower in town. Publicly execute the envoy displaying his head on a spike. Warn the others to surrender to chief or face the same fate. Ooh, that's dark though. Send scouts to see if he can enforce his demands, if he can pay up, if he can't. Send him a mocky, mocking reply and dare him to take it. Send an envoy in return and try to negotiate with the new chief. War hurts everyone and maybe you can work out a way to be... Yeah, <clears throat> what should I do? What should I do? I mean, let, let's go to dark side, yeah? A child in the village has started showing symptoms of the plague. The town chose to quarantine him and his family, but you caught him sneaking out of the house to play with other kids. What now? Let him go with a warning. If he's contagious, you're all infected now too. 
If he's not, no harm done. Relies on neighbors and affect the entire family from town, making an example of the car carelessness. Send him back to his house under car careful guard. The whole family will have to leave town if they continue to put everyone at risk. Return him to his house and explain to the family what will happen to the town if they are all infected. Make them see reason. Um, I think we have to do this one. Just in case maybe he escape again. We can always put a guard on that kid though. You've been captured by people who have clearly gone mad, finding yourself in a pen along with a true famer, farmer you've met before. A mercenary strip of his weapons and terrified young family. The captors assemble, a massive prior in, in dedicating the intent for a twisted sacrifice, noticing a guard's destruction. You are certain you can escape on your own, but every person you bring with, you increase the chance you will get caught. Take advantage of the destruction to try to get everyone out. Save as many as you can. Dude, I, I don't even have to read the other one. This is just good. <clears throat> the last question. You have discovered a catch of pre-apocalypse supplies in the bandit farmhouse. You can't carry it all back on your own. So you enlist a few friends from town to help. When you return to the catch, you find a group of emaciated scavengers in the process of looting the place for themselves. Do you let them take the supplies? No way. Threaten the scavengers and if they don't hand over the supplies, kill them. Let them take the supplies but secretly follow them back to the home. Once there you can load their goods and kill them all. Hey, that sounds a good plan. <coughs> Attributes and skill trees. Alright. Skill. Okay. So let's. How many points do we have? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, there was five. And here we have skills. Um. We have 10, we have 30. Alright. Let's do intelligence to 8. Resolves to seven, six, maybe this to seven. I think we should do it on this. But let's do auto sign. Let's start our journey because we're already uh, almost like eight minutes you busy with. Good. My name's Jake, Jake Anderson, and this here is Bally Bally Hall. Truth to tell, wasn't sure you'd make it between the wildlife and the attacks we'd seen. Thought you might have met with some misadventure. Alder sides dropped off the radio waves. Could be nothing, it could be something. Either way, Surveyor's Guild wants you to take a look. Me and Jonesy will tag along to help out, in case it's the something. Then we'll head to Kokobi to escort our mate Nick back to Brookton. Sounds simple, but Nick's the mayor of the bloody town, so let's all just get him home in one piece, yeah? It's an easy job, not expecting much trouble, but better safe than sorry, yeah? Let me introduce you around. Ella's over here, she's my second. My cousin too, her and her sister Mad, who's keeping watch from the crow's nest. Don't get on their bad sides. New blood, AJ. Eh, New surveyor. Remember how I told you the guild's updating its maps for the area and the hiatus for protection? This is it. Figured we'd make Alderside the first stop, since we haven't heard from him in a while. Jonesy and I are going to make sure everyone's cozy and safe. While we prep for the trip, why don't you show the newcomer around? I don't need a reminder. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Is it? We will see how you feel when you spend some time with us. Why are they not talking now? <clears throat> well, that's weird. I'm sure your sparkling personality will shine through and you will win a place in his heart in no time, Emma. That's me. Noted. Hard work and charm. You fancy seeing the place, meet colorful locals, ready, whatever you are. So you have already met the boss that leaves Jonasy Dreamer and Mad. May as well say hi to Carl to even though he's not a scout. Otherwise he will feel left out. Let's go. Play and camera moving. Alright. Alright. Um so can we zoom out? Oh, we can zoom out. That's nice. 
And we have to do the last click button. Get a chance to talk to everyone yet? No? Best get on it then. Okay, let's see. Meet Cole, meet Matt, meet Dream and meet Jonas. That's a quest. Alright, let's go talk with this guy. Oi, right, Cole. Who's Who this, this then? then? Surveyor. Oh. The guilds asked us to see why no one can raise Alderside on the radio. Jake and Jonesy are going to be an escort for this one while we head on to Kokobi. And then they're not talking again. It's weird that I... Yeah. I'm just not going to talk. This makes no sense. Uh, I didn't even read it. Sure thing. Good luck in Alderside. Okay, so we can't go outside there, let's see some other places, the map, oh yeah there's the map, alright, I mean the, yeah, let's talk with this guy, name's Jonesy mate. Who are you? That trip you and Jake are taking to Alderside. Seems he's coming with you. Surveyor's Guild wants to check the place out too. It's not just about the killing, mind you. Though just between you and me, fuck the raiders, rustlers, and other assholes shitting up the place. Don't let him. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> okay. Three AP. Three AP. Um. Are we miss? Then they can hit us. Why does he keep missing? No, what they can do anything anyway. So okay, not seventy percent. So I can every time do one shot. That's weird. And now I can do like no, I can't. <laughs> oh, you can just keep ending turn always. Look so many times I miss. What is this? Oh, this is not true. Okay. It's still 70. Oh, my bad. Meet Mad and Meet Dreamer. Okay, let's meet that one. We're just gonna skip through this, this part a bit. To see what's happening. Um, meet mad. Need to meet one more person. To see how the, the gameplay is. What we have to do and stuff like that. I'm back at here again. So. He pointed somewhere here. How to get there? Oh, we have to go here. Or is he mad? Uh, I don't know anymore. No, he was something with a G, Did right? A chance to talk to everyone yet? No. Best get on it then. I think he's outside then. Get somewhere pointed here. I don't know. 
If I have to go here though, I'm gonna... <clears throat> There are some chickens here. I don't get it. So what did we check? One, two, oh, he's here probably. In that tower. Yeah, we have to talk with this guy. <clears throat> Let's see what happens when we finish talking with him. That's all we're gonna get out of here. Okay, we're done for Jake. Let's go. Heard you having your chip. Let's see how the game is. Okay, nice. Hopefully we leave Welcome the city the now. Man. Okay, we're with three guys now. So what happened with this guy? A thin ash. Oh. Don't shoot, you pricks. Well, I want to shoot. I just want to see what happens. Oh, they have some nice meat here. So, what is our objective now? Basically, side quests you have completed, gifts, uh, just quests. Sorry, the order of things. Which one? Oh, so you have to keep talking again and stuff like that. Well, <clears throat> what I want to say about the game, so I'm gonna give a small review about the game. Graphical looks nice. Uh, probably storyline as well. I can't reach everything. Like, I read everything I mean. Because uh, there, what I don't like is there is an issue with the talking, the voice lines. It stops with the voice line. So I'm used to, if there's a voice line, I'm not talking. But if there's no voice line, I'm talking it for you guys. But here it is, voice line and then no voice line. Which is really frustrating. I don't like that at all. Um, the missed chance with the combat style. He was behind him, close range, 70%. No, it shouldn't be, the, uh, be like that. It should be 100%. Or well, at least 99%. You know what I mean? 70%. I still like miss like three, four shots while I was straight back at him. No, it shouldn't be like that. Uh, for the rest, it's it's a really good game. Uh, it has a storyline, graphical good, uh, combat style. Yeah, it's 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 a bit, It is a good thing because it's it's turn based, but it needs to get fixed. Because if you close range with a gun, you're not missing for thirty percent. Come on. Um, yeah, so far so good. It's it's a decent game. Let me say that. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and win the notification bell. Like the video if you want. And as you say in Dutch, tot later.